Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angry, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. We're not born knowing how to love so purely as this. However, as you, with God's help, learn to love each other as God's word describes, your union will take on a deep spiritual tone that will carry you through the storms of life. You've known each other for many years. As you are joined together in marriage, your relationship will rise to a level, level you may never have thought possible. This transforming love will cause each of you to put the other's needs ahead of your own. You will learn to embrace compliments and will become an incredible source of strength and encouragement to each other. I charge you both to hold fast to the love you already feel for each other and work towards achieving the pure, completely unselfish love as described in God's word. Cherish the vision of this day. Let it not be tarnished by the common trials of life. May the joy that you feel today be forever present as you share the rest of your life. Joseph, do you promise to love Monica as her husband, to receive her as your wife, to make a home where she will be loved and cared for, even if won't cook meat? <laughs> as long as God grants her life? If so, answer I do. Monica, do you promise to love Joseph as his wife, to receive him as your husband, to make a home where he will be loved and cared for, even though he still eats meat? <laughs> as long as God grants him life? If so, answer I do. She does. <laughs> she does. Thank you, Lord. Joseph, please repeat after me. I, Joseph, take thee, Monica, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish forever. Monica, please repeat after me. I, Monica, take thee, Joseph, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish forever. And now, we may further seal these vows by giving and receiving the wedding crown. This golden circle is a symbol of wedded love. It is made of pure metal and should always symbolize the purity of the love which binds your hearts together. As an endless circle, it should remind you of the unending love which unites your lives. May these crowns be kept with great honor and be a reminder of this moment when your lives were united. And may you always endeavor to keep your vows ever before you.